Dark mode. Everyone loves dark mode. When GitHub brought out dark mode, I think that was the most excited I've ever seen people for a GitHub feature. And so, can you bring dark mode quite easily to your Next.js app? Well, you actually can with just a few lines of config and code. I'm going to show you. So this is our link free project. You can see we've got no dark mode. And what we're going to do, we're just going to simply put two buttons or two links at the bottom that we can trigger between light and dark mode. And then we'll just change the footer to light dark mode. But you could apply that to any component. And how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to use a library called Next Themes. Just like Next Auth, people have written some amazing plugins. So we can do MP PM install next themes as a good place to start and also check out the documentation and that documentation is great. And so now that we've got that, nothing's going to change. If we look back at the site and refresh it, it still looks exactly the same. So what are we going to do next? Well, the next thing we want to do, we're using Tailwind CSS with this as well. So we do want to tell Tailwind that we're going to do it manually. And you can see GitHub Copilot's automatic complete that for us. We need the entry dark mode of a capital M and it's going to be type class. So that's great. So we've got that working. The next thing we want to do is we want to wrap our project with the theme. So with the theme component from the library that we just added. So go to your underscore app and then what we're going to do is we're going to import the theme provider from next themes. So that's great. We've done that. And the next thing we're going to do is wrap our kind of our layout, which is already wrapped in a session, but we're going to wrap that one more and we're going to say it's theme provider, as you can see from the import right at the top that we just added. So we're going to do that and then move this closing one to the bottom, hit save and automatically reformat our code. So that's looking really good already. And trust me, it doesn't get much harder than this. We're going to soon start doing the light and dark mode CSS or, or tailwind classes. So let's go to the footer component and let's start writing something. So let's just keep this really simple. Right. So when we come to the footer, let's just create another span and we're using flex here. So they probably go to opposite ends of the screen and that'll be fine for this demo as well. So let's create a span in here. We'll do another span and then we'll have light. And then what we'll do is we'll say on click then be able to trigger the function to set the theme. To do that, we need to then import the use theme from next themes again, something else they, they've given us to make our lives so much easier. And then again, from the documentation, we can actually also use theme and that gives us the current theme and also the setter to do that as well. So on here, what we'll do is we'll create a function. This is ES6 style, for those who don't know, and we'll say set theme and we're going to set this to light. And then what we'll do next is we'll copilot's already doing a great job for us. So let's just duplicate that line. And here we'll say dark, and then we'll change the visible writing to dark as well. And then maybe at the end, we just output what the theme it thinks it is, just in case we don't, it doesn't work and we want to see what it thinks it is. So I've just hit save and let's go back to the browser and nothing really should have changed. You can see we've got light and dark and then light in brackets. So it thinks it's in light mode, which is, which is great. That's really good. Probably want to put a space in here just to make it look a bit better. And you can see so light and dark. And as you can see, we click it, it's already doing some magic. You can see if you click on dark, it says dark. And we click on light, it changes to light. So it's actually really working like pretty, pretty well. But how can we do it that we actually might want to change where it says powered by Eddie? So what we can do is you can see powered by Eddie Hub, not Eddie, powered by Eddie looks great here. But when we go to dark mode, it doesn't look so great. So what can we do to fix that? Well, We've already configured everything so straight away we can we can just get started so for example here in this link we say text is gray 700 perfect but what happens if we in dark mode so we can say dark mode we want text gray 200 so it's going to be or oh, not 50 i think 200 let's hit save and you can see that's a lot lighter and so now if we hit dark mode why doesn't it change refresh so there's one thing I forgot to add, which is why it wasn't working, which is attribute class. So by default, it actually uses data hyphen theme and I wanted to use class. So that's why I've added this now. And if we go back to it and see, you can see this is in dark mode and this is now light powered by Eddie Hub at the bottom right. And if we go to, to light mode, powered by Eddie Hub becomes dark. So you can see we're switching between the two and you can see this is changing depending on which one we click on. So that's working. That's how you get 
theming in your Next.js application. So it is pretty straightforward to do. The harder part is to go through your application and kind of get all the colors figured out for light mode and dark mode, make sure they complement each other. And what we've noticed in our link free project is that we actually need to move things into components. Therefore, someone adding a new feature to the project and they want to use an input field or whatever it is, a heading, they don't have to worry about the colors of light and dark mode. They can just bring in the component and the component will do what it needs. So again, it's a great way to get contributing to open source is abstracting reusable parts out of the project into components and it makes Storybook a lot more fun as well. Any questions, let me know in the comments below. Any tips, any suggestions, do let me know because I'm always learning, improving with you as well. And don't forget, we geek out between the live streams and video in the Eddie Hub Discord almost every day where we're all learning to supporting each other together. There's a link in the description below. I'll see you there.